Hello. In this session, we'll understand information gathering through searching. Earlier in this session, we had discussed about how we can gather information about a public company. We can gather those information about any specific company and its technology from AWIS and uh, netcraft.com. So if, suppose if a company you get, you, you got find out, find it out, you got uh, some longitude or latitude, uh, then you can use Google Earth, Google Map or Wikimap or maybe Bing Map or Yahoo Map to gather some specific details about their headquarters and small ended uh, department of those companies or where it is actually situated all around the world right so you can gather information about any specific company from these google earth google map and wikimap suppose if you are interested in some person and uh, like a target and you are interested to find it out you know you want to know more about that person you can use uh, these online services uh, like privatize.com searchnow.com publicbackgroundchecks.com intellius.com for triple one.com peoplefinders.com if you provide any specific um, information about that that person or that target in these website these website gonna give you a lot many information about that specific person uh, the question is if that person is so much you know is using so much internet then definitely you will gather a lot many information from these websites if a person is completely um, uh, like uh, is a ghost he is not on the internet then there might be a problem you cannot get any information from these websites although these websites are completely paid websites so you need to give some uh, bucks of money here so uh, so to get some information about that specific target next is if you uh, the you, you can gather information from these job sites uh, you see the job sites are more more vulnerable because they have plethora of information about any specific company or the individual they have uh, um, so these are the website actually LinkedIn monster and deep career builder.com uh, basically in those job portals you are leveraging some information about you and the previous company you are working with so you can give some information about the previous company it's hardware information uh, their software information in which the company is working precisely you can also give the give information about your specific part like date of birth like uh, the salary information the technology you are interested in and stuff like that you are leveraging that information in these job sites you also sometimes leveraging your personal information such as your email address phone number and your address in the resume part so if your resume or if your resume is uh, is not like secured and it's publicly open to anyone then anyone can see the address your phone number and different other things so uh, this is like more vulnerable to any other uh, next thing is you can gather information from these financial services such as google.com slash finance and finance.yahoo.com if your target is pretty much interested in financial services you can go for you can look after these websites Right. Now, next part is you can gather information from social media as well. Now, this is the main part where uh, your target is, you know, leveraging so much of information to the Internet and you can gather free of cost. You do not need any kind of paid service there. So such as social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, there are many actually. Hi, a Tumblr is there. There's a Pinterest. There's so many other websites available for social media. Instagram is there. So uh, basically, I had bifurcated uh, three things here that what basically user do in social media, and what that particular user is updating the information in that social media platform, and what an attacker can get from these uh, social media platforms so generally user maintain their profile they regularly maintain it such as maybe uh, sometimes um, there is a profile picture and the next day he is going to change it so he is maintaining every day maybe he is maintaining its secrecy and privacy he is changing the passwords uh, maybe uh, after a week so he is maintaining their profile so what basically this user is going to update uh, in the social media he can update photos contact email addresses uh, date of birth location info 
uh, work details uh, in the school or maybe college university or maybe in the company he can also update uh, the current activity information so maybe he's interested in some concert so he can update its uh, status there right so also you are leveraging your school college and university update uh, so what an attacker can get it from there so generally user uh, sorry generally apologies for that generally attacker gets personal information of yours so this person personal information is going to be used in a later part of social engineering attack he's gonna give you some phishing link in which you are interested so if you are interested in a concert then he is going to make a phishing page of that specific concert and there is this a fishy link there and definitely you're gonna somehow click on that link and boom there you go right so uh, this information is going to get by this attacker so what generally you are uh, updating in the status so you uh, update such as a recent profile picture definitely you do that right a recent location information if you are going for a holiday or maybe for uh, maybe for event kind of thing then you're gonna update it in the Facebook uh, family and friend information uh, your activities and hobbies uh, technology related information this is uh, this is the most important part here so if you are interested in some mobile then you're gonna you know you continuously blog it into the social you uh, sharing that blog in the Facebook continuously regularly so um, if you multiple times do the same thing just like if you are if you are interested in Samsung mobile then you're gonna update it like you, you're gonna share it in the fa Facebook so many times attacker will take this as an opportunity he will understand that you are interested in Samsung mobiles he gonna find he gonna understand that might be there might be a, a minuscule chance that you are you your target should have a Samsung mobile also right so in that way he gonna find some vulnerability in Samsung mobile and then later use that vulnerability uh, to exploit you so he is a very much uh, you know skill in that kind of thing uh, so what attacker can get he can get target current location wherever you are going you know you are updating it a nature of business what kind of uh, you know a person you are the technology relevant information just like I told you uh, so these many information he can gather it and later it can use it for you know big attacks so I hope you like it thank you so much